Am I in video or something? Yeah, you are. What's right going there, on? Oh, well, yeah, so, yeah, it's in here. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is the background you want. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Hey, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, hey, sorry about that shitty intro. Saw a bag of Jet Puff. You know I had to do something with it. How we doing, everybody? Yeah, guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be doing actually a story time on uh, the time I actually got to be backstage with the winner of America's Got Talent season. What the hell season was that? Hold on, let me look it up. Um, oh, season nine. Yeah, season nine. Matt Franco, who uh, is now a pretty well-known magician in the magician world, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, he's well-known. You get the point. Yeah, so back in December when I was in Las Vegas, who I actually got to meet a couple other dope magicians, including Piff the Magic Dragon, who was another guy uh, on America's Got Talent who made it to the finals, who I did another video back on, so go check that out if you haven't already. So yeah, originally when I went to Vegas, I was only supposed to see Chris Angel's new show, Mind Freak, which I was really excited to see. I had seen Chris Angel a couple times before. I'd even been on stage with Chris Angel in Las Vegas uh, years back when he got to call me up on stage one time. Yeah, so we're here. We're here in Vegas, having a good ass time. I had no idea I was gonna get to see Matt Franco, but I went to David Copperfield, almost got called up on stage. He was, you know, you know, we'll have another story time on that, like I just said, if you want, if you really care, if you really give a shit. But, um, you know, last time I checked, not, not many people give a shit. Yep. Still, still not, still not many people. So yeah, we're here in Vegas. Um, I was at David Copperfield, and after David Copperfield, my parents were like, Hey, we got, uh, one ticket for you to go to Matt Franco, and actually get to meet him backstage, and I was like, Big fat bet. So as an America's Got Talent watcher myself, I had seen his entire season all the way to the finals where he won the show, which is, you know, that's a huge ass deal. You win a million dollars, you get your own show in Vegas. What better deal could you get than that? So I get to the show, I'm pumped as hell. You know, not really knowing exactly what to expect, didn't know how good the show was gonna be. But um, yeah, it was great. It was dope as hell. Check out some of these clips. What's up, Matt Franco here in Las Vegas. This is Nico, Nico Magic. Subscribe now. This is a Chucky Bean production. Yeah, you are. What's right going there, on? Right? Oh, so, yeah, it's in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the background you want. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Matt, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, what's your Nico. name? Nico. What's up, Matt Franco here in Las Vegas? This is Nico, Nico Magic. Subscribe now. Awesome, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Dude, you just got the golden ticket. I know, that's what I say. It's crazy. Yeah. NICO? Yep, NICO. Oh. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. How long have you been doing magic, you said? Uh, well, seriously, probably the last two years, but oh, I've been cool. doing it on and off for like six years. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Best of luck with all that. Thank you, I appreciate it. Enjoy Las Vegas. Have all a good right. here. Yeah, yeah. I voted for you on AGT. Hey, well, thanks, so. man. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, I had a conversation with him about magic and about how good his sleight of hand is, because guys, when I say it was good, it was good. As you could tell from the intro, I'm not very grand in sleight of hand. That's not that's not where my total focus is. I like the impossible magic, the stuff you see, and the, you look at it and you just th there's no way. Like that's not a thing. That couldn't have just happened, but that did just happen. That's my focus. But his sleight of hand, as a magician to another magician, that was some top quality shit. I like sleight of hand. I want to get better at it. That's something I want to improve on. 
this man knew what was up, he knew what was going on, and he was a really nice guy to talk to also. Yeah, so I was backstage, I was talking with him a lot about magic, it was a really cool experience. Um, I told him how good his sleight of hand is in this kind of cringy form right here. Matt, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, what's your Nico. name? Nico. Nico. Nico, what's yeah. going on, man? Okay. Nothing much. Yeah. I loved your show, it was awesome. Hey, thanks, man. Your sleight of hand is freaking crazy. Thanks, really man, awesome. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get that good one day, hopefully. <laughs> Did you hear how kind of awkward that conversation was? It was like, yeah, hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, hi. I'm Nico. What's, hi, what's up? You must be Matt. Yeah. Seen you, seen you around. Good. You do magic, right? Is that what you do? You do magic? Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, I, I used to do, I, uh, I do do magic. I, I did, I do magic, too. Yeah, I do it. In my room sometimes, you know, in the mirror. <laughs> Practice it. I like magic also. I'm Nico. If you, you must be Matt, is that that's sick? Yeah, no, it was kind of an awkward uh, conversation. He really caught me off guard. I wasn't really ready, but you know, it was a really, really nice guy. It was a really cool experience. His show was amazing. If you're in a, if you're in Vegas, make sure to go see uh, Matt Franco, Piff the Magic Dragon, the Paranormal Mentalist. There's a lot of cool guys. Chris Angel, David Copperfield. Uh, best shows. They're really, really good. So make sure to go check them out if you're from Vegas. And yeah, so that's my story, you guys. So I'm editing and watching my video back. Just a quick side note. It was not that awkward. I was just messing around, but it was a really cool experience. So yeah. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. There's a lot more stuff to come. Uh, I'm kind of going around on Twitter right now a little bit. Uh, my Twitter link is below, so if you want to see some videos of me doing magic on Twitter, go down, check those out, and like and retweet those. Let's get it going. Let's get it up there. Yeah, but uh, make sure to hit that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That's the notification so you get notified when I upload a video. Uh, a lot more to come. Story time. Street magic. Crazy ass reactions. Dope ass shit. It's Nico here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.